scientists have drawn conclusions about the Anasazi's lifestyle from excavation sites. Fragments of clay pots, animal bones, corn cobs, carbonized wood, stone tools and woven sandals were found. More valuable artifacts like jewelry and ritual objects were discovered, mainly in shrines and in the niches of temple walls. Shells indicate trade connections as distant as the coast of Mexico. This bone trowel displays an inlay of turquoise. The nearest turquoise mines are 93 miles south of Chaco Canyon. Mother of Pearl also came from Mexico, as did colourful parrot feathers and small, extremely rare copper bells. The ceremonies in which they were used remain a mystery. The Anasazi were masters of architecture and astronomy, but as far as arts and crafts were concerned, their work was that of apprentices. In the Anasazi Museum in Dolores, scientists use an Anasazi skull to recreate the appearance of these ancient people. In Masa Verde, researchers have built models displaying each important step in the Anasazi's development. First, we see them as gatherers, basket weavers, and hunters. The next phase shows their sunken houses, which were dug into the ground to protect the Anasazi from storms and their food from hungry animals. The round Kiva temples must have been developed during this phase of Anasazi history. Later, using carved stones, wood and mud, they built upwards. This semicircle faces south to collect the warmth of the winter sun. The houses set below these cliffs mark the end of the Anasazi era, the final examples of the glorious period of construction in Chaco Canyon. Why were some towers built in the depths of the canyon and others on top? Alfonso Ortiz believes this is symbolic of one of the Anasazi's views of creation. They believed their people were born from the earth as insects and small animals that eventually developed into humans. Now they looked to the sky. Scientists know that Chaco Canyon has suffered a drought for decades, while areas close by remain relatively damp. Reasons for the drought are debated. Wood samples taken from the ancient temples reveal weather patterns and date the structures. This beam is ponderosa pine. It's from a very large tree. And this beam was originally a pilaster in a great kiva at Chetroquetl, which is a large ruin in Chaco Canyon, New Mexico. As you can see, it has been squared and the back has been smoothed. It uh, probably was originally perhaps three to four feet long. So it probably weighed a great deal, and uh, we don't know whether it was actually shaped where they cut the tree down, which was a long distance from the site. The wood and carbonized tree trunks are examined under a microscope.
The scientist draws a long line to represent each of the tree's wide rings. Short lines represent the weaker, thinner circles. The completed graph will show an overview of the weather pattern for a particular time period. The dating procedure is simple. Denny, I had this plot from Chetro Kettle I want to show you. I think it looks pretty good. Dated wood samples from the region are compared with the tree trunk whose age is a mystery. Right there. Yeah, there, there it, it is, is right there. there. It looks yeah. like the BB signature right there. And it looks like it goes out to about 1054 with almost no missing rings at all. Right. It's a good specimen. Right. These diagrams show the process in a simplified form. The top log shows the ring pattern of a living tree. The number of rings reveals its age. Older dead trees and wood from an Anasazi ruin are compared to the living tree's ring patterns. Exact climate charts can then be created. The red areas represent great dry periods, while the blue stands for above average rainfall. In Chaco Canyon, there were hardly any great rains between 1255 and 1285. In fact, this was an extremely dry period. The 30 years of drought in Chaco Canyon may have forced the Anasazi to leave their homes. But why did they not rebuild elsewhere? Could it be that the continued drought led to mistrust and suspicion towards their priests? The Anasazi worshipped the sun and the stars, and the priests had failed to predict correct harvest and sowing times. Living in harmony with the heavens was essential for the Anasazi's way of life. Could the puzzling natural changes have caused them to lose faith in their religion? If so, there was no reason to create a great center like Pueblo Bonito elsewhere. Professor Ortiz has another theory. It seems the observational powers and predictability that they had built up, the knowledge they had built up, began to fail them. So I see the drought not as the cause by itself, but as just a symptom of why they left. I suspect that there's something very, very much to this notion that people stepped back when something failed them and they just walked away from it and to the kind of evolutionary thinking that has dominated archaeology this is of course like witchcraft you just don't dare believe that uh, because you're supposed to get more and more complicated all the time you know you're supposed to keep on going getting ever more complicated and if you hadn't reached a state yet you're supposed to keep on going until you reach statehood but the idea of drawing back from complexity because of the fear that you know what you created may be a monster and going back to simpler times and to simpler a simpler way of life that is a hypothesis that at least has to be considered because this seeming collapse happened too many times in various places around the americas Perhaps the Anasazi did consciously decide to retreat from the high level of civilization they had developed to a simpler, earlier natural order. Perhaps their all-pervasive religion had failed to provide the control and predictability upon which they depended to safeguard their precarious lives. We do know they deserted Chaco Canyon. Yet 50 years later, a small group of Anasazi once again built their elaborate structures this time on the high plateau of Mesa Verde, a 14-day journey north. But this cliff palace was also abandoned after 50 years. The last of the Anasazi left their magical world, complex buildings, rock drawings, astronomical clocks and star signs, and wandered off into memory, leaving only a sense of mystery and wonder.